Hi guys, welcome to the um, third episode of Tying with Night. And um, in the last episode, we made a, a night brush like that. And now it's time to get started and try the first streamers using night. And uh, today we tie a little fire tiger fishing for peacocks in uh, Colombia, for example. As an example, like that. Um, this one here is tied on a on a six O hook, and we tie it now on on a four O hook. It's a Gamakatsu saltwater hook. Got a short shank like that. Um, it's the SL12 uh, S, and we do start with a little bit of bucktail. Um, and I don't have a chair, so I have to do it whilst standing here. Let's see how that works. Well, we'll figure it out. So we start with our thread. I'm using a GSP 200 denier. You can use uh, other threads as well. It's not really that important for that fly. Um, you don't need that much pressure because uh, the fibers are really well stuck in the wire. So you just lock the wire and just get it around. So not really much much uh, uh, tying steps where you need a need a really strong thread so you can use everything you want so um, we'll take some trees bucktail um, just to get the fibers of the tail a little bit separated um, it just helps you to prevent uh, the tailing of the fibers, so you don't want to have the fibers while casting caught by the hook itself. Um, that's why we do that. So just place a bucktail on top of it, a few loose wraps, pull it dry. So we'll spread a bit, tie that down a bit. Just cut it a bit so it's not getting too bulky here. And then we just quickly just tie it down, get it out of the way. It's uh, not really much you have to do here. And then we uh, take some of the nayot, just a tiny bit. It's the same nayot the uh, dubbing brush is made from. Um, just some chartreuse, I think, is it? And, uh, you really just don't want to have much where you just to get a taper into the fly you want to use a, a tail like that and then the brushes will go to here and then you get the nice fish belly form so you brush out the under fur here you don't want to um, make sure now it is a natural material it takes up a bit of water if you don't remove the under fur here your fly will get too heavy, or not too heavy, but it will get more heavier than it actually needs to be. So you don't need that. And probably tied in, I would say, that length. So we just cut a little bit of the end. And uh, like that. And just lay it on top gently and uh, pull it around with the thread so it's everywhere. Pull it tight. Like that. Lock it into position and then you can just take your brush and brush it out a bit and now you have already a really nice tail and um, want to get a little bit of flesh into the tail. Just take anything I got here right now. Some, some EP sparkle, really short ones here though. Maybe too short, but we'll do the trick for now. Just tie it in, fold it back, and we brush it in. Get a little bit of sparkle into the tail section as well. And then we finally take our brush. Just take the one which is already used from the last fly. And we put it on top and just tie it down like that and that's all you need to do 
just loosen the fibers again a little bit. Do a trap from storage. Just you know, do a few turns, pull the fibers back. One, it's a really short hook, so you don't need much of the material. Two, now we need to have a little bit of space for the wing as well. So we get three and a half turns. Use your dubbing needle, I'll take my scissors right here, just to separate the fibers here a little bit. I'm going to catch the fibers with the thread, like that. So just got my scissors because to get it off and I don't want to use my good ones. So I'm just using my cheap crappy ones and then cut it. And then we tie it down a little bit. And uh, right now it looks a little bit shitty. What I'm going just take the brush and brush it out a bit. And now we're getting all the volume into the fly. And also take a scissors or a dolly needle to get a few of the uh, trip fibers out if you want to just to get a little bit more volume in there and now we get an, um, a wing on top and a wing on the belly and for the wing on top I'm in this case just using the uh, young pike color so we just grab a little bit brush out the end of her and then we pull the tips out and uh, align them again like that and just cut a few of them a bit now we got a nice wing and we taper it a bit and then uh, just put it on top make sure it's not too short like that and just tie it down and we do the same with the orange for the gilts so we get a nice fire tiger pattern Brush it one, two times. Cut it. Remove the uh, underfur. And then we pull the tips. Pull the tips again. And align them. And then taper it a bit. Turn the fly on the belly side. And just tie it down as well. One, two, three loose wraps. Turn the fly again. And now I can straighten it. And then I fold the knife back. Fold the wing back. Fold it over with the, uh, with the thumb. Like that. And just tie it down. One, two, three. Nice wraps. Do the same on the other side, one, two, turn the fly, and then pull it tight and continue to lock it in place. So what you do then is just brush the fly out a bit, like that, that's all you need to do. And then we um, get a nice head with some uh, of the monster dub I'm making. Some really nice dub for, for streamer heads and you just don't use too much, place it on top. Dark color on top. And the orange for the belly. Here a nice trick. Just cut the dubbing packs on the edge and you can just pull it out. It's like a dubbing dispenser. But uh, just with more content in it and then just align the fibers like that turn the fly tie it in on the belly side one two loose wraps turn the fly again you can see where you're tying it and then just lock it in place little knot and then grab our super glue And 
once we grabbed it, make a few turns around it and make a knot into the wet glue and this will last forever. Never had a fly. But got open again after using the zipper gap on it. And then we just brush it out, turn the fly. I'm really not using much material, so I have a really light fly right now. I only tied the dubbing in on the belly and on the top side. So it's not too much material, you can see that it's a bit hollow here. But there we put on some ice now, giving us a hat. So here I'm again with uh, two eyes and 3D eyes, green, 12 millimeters. My nice dubbing needle I got from André Michis. And uh, best glue for putting ice on the Monster Dub head is the E6000. It's uh, that one here. I prefer the smaller bottles, just easier to handle, but I didn't found it, so I'm using the big one now. Just place a little bit of glue on your dubbing needle, get the eye, place it where you want to have it, and just pull it out. Do the same thing on the other side. Just close the glue before. Get the eye, put some glue in it. Place it here and pull it out. Ready like that. And just tighten it. Get everything in place. And as you can see now, there are only the stripes missing. And uh, we have the same fly as before only with a smaller hook size but uh, that's how you tie it with a knife brush and a uh, knife ring on top with some monster dub head and this will catch plenty of fish. Have fun trying it out.